Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit more leaks today. If y'all don't already know, I made a video talking about the patch notes about the new avatar stuff coming pretty soon. And Ragroom Leaks, uh, the guy that I get some of my leaks from, he had leaked the icons so we know which, uh, you know, sexualities are going to be added and we know uh, which icons are going to be used for the thing so they'll be shown right here. But uh, yeah, these are the icons that will be on the uh, name of other players or inside your profile pic so you should be able to choose them. Uh, it turns out that these are actually going to be 2D, um, from what I can tell from just the, the sexualities bit. It's going to be 2D. There is uh, not going to be a 3D UI thingy, it's just going to be a 2D UI. Which was kind of expected since they're transitioning to a 2D UI and all that. You've seen the leaks, here they are, yada yada yada. But I didn't address this in my last video. So a big problem with the Rec Room community is that we are not the friendliest people. As a community as a whole, there is a lot of toxicity that goes on and a lot of toxic kids that are inside the platform still. And um, I worry about this because I feel like people who do identify as uh, LGBTQ or whatever will decide not to put this in their profile to avoid being bullied in Rec Room. I'm going to say this before anybody says that, oh, why are they adding sexualities? Why are they adding this and that when they should be fixing the game? I'm going to say this, in Rec Room's defense, they are a social game, they are a you make friends game, you support everyone game. The motto basically is uh, something something for everyone. I forgot the motto, but it's for everyone at the end. This game is meant for everyone. That's the whole point of Rec Room, that's what it strives to be. Adding these gets you to know a lot about a person, you know, you can know if they're trans, gay, bi, you may, it may even cause you to not make certain mistakes, you know? It's it's meant to stop a lot of uh, trouble and a lot of confusion with that, but I feel like uh, it's, it's going to be abused in some way. People will actively seek out people who have these inside their bio and will, uh, you know, attack them, target them, do something to them. And uh, that's kind of the, one of the things I worry about. I know it's kind of counterintuitive that it's coming from me, despite who I am. You know, I'm not the nicest person in the world, but I do worry that the whole intention for this update is for people to express themselves and love themselves for who they are. And, you know, um, that may not happen. Uh, because of just how Requiem is. Requiem isn't a bad game, don't get me wrong, but its community isn't the greatest, and I gotta worry, I gotta worry. I'll make a video elaborating on it more, but um, right now, that's kind of my concerns that this is, might be abused by people and people might uh, witch hunt people who have certain things in the bio. It, it, it's gonna be terrible. I'll make a video about it when it comes out, but uh, yeah. So without further ado, thank you for joining me for another video, and I'll see all of you guys later. <sighs> Bro fist. Wow. <laughs>